Holiday Hoop Suite got underway with Ingram and Hondo. The Warriors trying to keep pace with the Owls. Braden Fairchild drives baseline and gets the little floater to go. Warriors kept trying to come back on the Owls. Nathan Gelsone's going to get the ball down low. He makes a nice spin move and drops it in for two points. Owls flew away in the fourth quarter with a big run. Ryla McGee caught on fire from deep as Ingram closed the game on a 13-2 run of their own. But it wasn't enough as the Warriors dropped this one at home 63-59. Gasson led all scorers with 20 points. Riley McGee added 10 for the Warriors. After multiple schedule changes, the Lady Warriors ended up taking on DeHanis at the original schedule time of 6.30. Macy Piper led the way in a defensive struggle as Ingram picked up the win 35-32 over the Lady Cowboys. Both Ingram schools host Sunnybrook Academy tomorrow. OLH is very familiar with Sunnybrook, but they were taking on George Gervin Academy Monday night. Luke Schultz down low and won. The big man dominated the Coyotes all night down low. He's going to turn and spin in the paint. However, it was more than just the one-man show tonight. James Westfall is going to show off his nice Timmy two-step here. He gets into the lane for the nice layup. Going to come back down. He's going to make the nice dish here to John Cummings. And it was more contributions than just Schultz, which is what Chris Ramirez is waiting to see. You know, I look at the scorebook right now, and that was the first thing I noticed. Four guys with uh, double figures. Uh... You know, that's, that's great distribution. That's great contributions by, by multiple starters. Um, I won't complain about that. Luke should not have to give us, uh, you know, three-quarters of our points every night. He's going to have so much attention uh, drawn to him that we need our other guys to, you know, gain some confidence and understand that they're capable as well. Schultz did lead the way again with 17. Westfall and Travis Ray each had 16. Little William Westfall was on fire from deep. He hit four threes for a total of 12 points. The Hawks are back at it Tuesday as they travel to Texas Military Academy. Center Point was another school taking part in the matinee action. The Pirates took care of Nueces Canyon thanks to a big effort by Carl Beckerson. He dropped 29 and Caden Roberts added 11 as the Pirates picked up a 72-50 win. Next up for the Pirates is a road test at Comfort next Tuesday. The offense wasn't easy as a come by for the Lady Pirates as they dropped this one to the Lady Panthers, 48-25. to Adriana Carnes had 11, and Piper Bush added 7. The Lady Pirates are also at comfort next Tuesday. Maintaining their stellar defensive performance, Harper took to the road and held the Lady Rohawks under 30 points in a 42-25 road win. Brittany Shuletter led the way with 12 points. Mercy Garcia added 10. The Lady Horns are home Tuesday night to take on rival Johnson City. While the Lady Horns get it done with defense, the Harper Longhorns had no problem lighting up the scoreboard Monday night. Carson McKnight went for 37, Josh Shades went for 30, and he grabbed 19 rebounds as the Longhorns demolished Medina 85-47. to Harper is home Tuesday night to take on Texas Leadership Academy.